Well, the Batfest is on, and it won't be closing down the Congress Avenue Bridge. Yeah, this annual event really stirred some emotions when area businesses found out that it was going to be on Labor Day weekend holiday, and that would affect their sales. Box 7's Carrie Bellacosa, live downtown. Tell us more about this. Hey, Carrie. Well, hey there, guys. Yeah, and that annual Bat Festival you're talking about is usually held here at the Ann Richards Congress Bridge. And as you can see behind me, there are some area businesses here. So the street closures that the city have to make to accommodate that festival are frustrating those businesses. Well, today, a compromise may have solved that problem. The Austin Bat Fest draws 30,000 people to downtown Austin. The two the event showcases Austin's famous bats that fly out from under the South Congress Bridge on summer nights. It certainly shuts down the street, so traffic can't get through. It's hard to get to the store. This year's festival is scheduled for Labor Day weekend, a prime time for furniture retailers and shoppers alike. It's not so much about the foot traffic. It's, you know, people being able to get here. The folks at your living room and some other area businesses did sign over their support for this year's bat event so the city got involved and now a new plan is on the table we're going to have the festival on the first street bridge just pick everything up and move it uh, the bridges are very similar so it'll be a pretty easy move a compromise may have been reached but business owners south of lady bird lake tell us this issue goes further than the bat festival they tell us anytime there's an event down here their business and sales are affected when you can't get to your business, when your employees can't get into work, then it's a problem and it needs to have a solution. The owner of Zach's Pints and Plates on Barton Springs Road says his restaurant and Aussie's next door are on the losing end every time their street is barricaded off for a race. But nobody wants these to go away. They benefit a lot of needy uh, charities, um, but we would just like to be uh, part of that planning. Recently, the city created the Street Event Closure Task Force to tackle this very issue. Well, I think that we have to kind of create a balancing act between what the businesses want downtown and what is best for our overall city. I feel like it's just important that we recognize that our tourism industry is also involved and that was one of the bright spots on our in our budget for this year. The good news, it looks like the bat battle turned into a win-win situation. Yeah, it's great. We're able to open, they're able to have the bat fest. I think it's going to be good for everyone. They'll, they'll sell hopefully a lot of furniture and, and uh, we'll have the event go on smoothly. Okay, we saw for ourselves the bats leave the bridge here about an hour ago. So you may be wondering, are you going to be able to see those bats yourselves from First Street? Well, we're told yes. And if you can't, all the patrons will get wristbands so that they can leave the festival grounds and walk over here. It's only a block away. Okay, next year, the Bat Fest will return here to South Congress area. It will not be held on Labor Day holiday weekend. And it has been reduced to a one-day festival. If you want to go this year, it begins August 30th and wraps up August 31st, guys.